Hello and welcome to the Induna channel. I'm John Riven and I make films on the ocean and I've worked on both series of the BBC's Blue Planet. If you like sharks, you, you probably know what this is. It's a fossil tooth of Megalodon, the biggest shark and probably the biggest predator that's ever lived. And yet, all we know them from are teeth like these. And that's because they're hard, they survive and they fossilize. The soft skeleton of sharks is made of cartilage and it doesn't fossilize well. So there's very little evidence apart from fossil teeth of ancient sharks. And yet, I think there may well be a way we can find a fully preserved specimen of Megalodon. Did you guys ever watch Shark Week? The feature The Meg and Discovery's Shark Week have made Megalodon famous, but their confident reconstructions are based on very little. No one has ever found a complete skeleton, let alone seen their skin. From the size of the tooth, you can estimate how big the mouth must be and compare it with modern sharks to guess how many teeth it had. But it's all speculation. The jaws that these teeth are set in are just realistic models made of plaster or coloured plastic. Thanks, Bridge. Looks like we've uh, found what we were looking for. But a strange quirk of seabed geology might reveal all their secrets. It's called a brine pool. Look at that. We can see some more of these dead um, mussel shells as well as some live ones. So the oh, yeah. live ones are more intensely coloured. Brine pools occur worldwide where the conditions are right. Places where historically shallow seas flooded and dried up thousands of times over millions of years. In parts of the Gulf of Mexico, south of Louisiana, their salt deposits five miles thick and squeezed by surrounding rocks, soft salt pushes through the seabed to form super concentrated pools. Sulfide chemicals seep along the shoreline, feeding a highly unusual food chain of very weird creatures. But what's all this got to do with finding Megalodon? Well, there are places on land called tar pits that trap animals. And it could well be that brine pools are the equivalent of tar pits in the sea, with super concentrated salt acting like tar of these ancient land-based tar pits. Places where petroleum products like oil and asphalt seep naturally through the surface. Most famously, the La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles have revealed trapped animals now long extinct, huge mammoth, as well as saber-toothed tigers and dire wolves. These predators took advantage of animals like bison that got stuck in the tar, and they, the predators, got stuck themselves. There's plenty of evidence that a similar thing happens in the brine pools too. The jacuzzi of despair. These types of bigger, yeah, larger organisms. Here, these larger organisms really don't like to be in this fluid, or oh, maybe they just come here to die. That's awesome. The pickled. There's a pickled, pickled crab. Go for it. Yeah. Under the, the, there you see that amphibod down there on the right, Brennan. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's he huge. He crawled in, and he didn't crawl out. Maybe they just come here to die. This is. Also, deep-sea eels have been seen fishing in the pools and nearly die. It's Whoa. Whoa! Oh, wow. What if, about three million years ago, a megalodon fell into a brine pool and never made it out? Its body might be perfectly preserved. How we'd find it all these years later, where to look, how we'd even get it out? Well, those are all questions I can answer in another video. Put in the comments below if you'd like me to. And please subscribe 
to the Induna Channel. 